I decided to play a little hooky today. I drove down to my hometown of Ruby Shoals, which is right on the shore. Andy, show them a bit of where we're at. Go on. Okay. So it was tore up some by Sandy, but you get the general. Oh, grab a shot of them gulls there. Cute little sucker. Anyway, being back on this beach reminds me of what a privilege it was to grow up in a place where you could run through tide pools, hunt for sharks' teeth, blow up crabs with cherry bombs. Man, that's just good times. Anywho, Ruby Shoals has always been pretty conservative, solid Republican. And as Republicans, the thing we believed in most of all was opportunity, which meant we believed in building stuff to create opportunity, like roads and schools and power grids. It was a Republican, Ike, who built our highway system. And another, Nixon, who created the EPA to protect what we're looking at right now. As conservatives, we believed in conserving and free markets which is why most of us used to favor cap and trade to fight climate change. Anyway, that was then. We don't believe in climate change now or any research into it. Same with mandates or infrastructure or background checks or a dozen other things we used to support before we got within pissing range of the Tea Party. I've about had it with all that. Remember the old Gil John Biggs? One who used to bring home a new clinic or research center or whatnot without apology? Sure, I named him after myself, but I don't mind future generations knowing who invested in him. And remember Coach Biggs, who made college loans a huge priority because he'd seen how they changed lives. And remember the guy that never voted to shut down the government or wreck our credit or suppress voting rights or compare people to Hitler? Remember that guy? He's back. 